Hi. Welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread. For October 18th, 2021, here you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, with the goal of hearing half of the Bible by the end of January 9th, 2022. We began this journey on July 1st, 2021. There was a couple of interceptions where we did stop for technical, technological difficulties. But if there are any readings, that is when we began and that will constitute a half of the Bible by, Ju- by January 9th with daily readings. <clears throat> John 1 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And all things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. Verse 4 says, In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Verse 5, And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And verse 8, That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. And Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 reads, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. And Psalm, 20, Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. And the word is already blessed. Today, October 18th, 2021, we will hear Psalm 37, Proverb 18, because it is the 18th day of the month. And there are 31 Proverbs, one for each day of the month. <clears throat> The Old Testament reading will be from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 1 through chapter 4, verse 31. And the New Testament reading will be from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 1 through 23. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson, Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. And now, Psalm 37. This psalm is attributed to King David, and it reads, Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Verse seven, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in the way, because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret, it only causes harm. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Verse 12, the wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, to slay those who are of upright conduct. Their sword shall enter their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows that the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. 
They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. Verse 20, But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, like the splendor of the metals, shall vanish. Into smoke they shall vanish away. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous knows, but the righteous shows mercy and gives. For those blessed by him shall inherit the earth, but those cursed by him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Verse 25, I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lends, and his descendants are blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell for evermore. For the Lord loves justice, and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved for ever, but the descendants of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell in it for ever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of justice. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. <clears throat> Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree. Yet he passed away and behold, he was no more. Indeed, I sought him but he could not be found. Mark the blameless man and observe the upright, for the future of that man is peace, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The future of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Verse 40 and last, And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him and now proverb 18 and it reads a man who isolates himself seeks his own desire he rages against all wise judgment a fool has no delight in understanding but in expressing his own heart when the wicked comes contempt comes also as and with dishonor comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The wellspring of wisdom is a flowing brook. It is not good to show partiality to the wicked or to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the innermost body. Verse 9, He who is slothful in his work is a brother to him who is a great destroyer. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and like a high wall in his own esteem. Before destruction the heart of a man is haughty, and before honor is humility. He who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. The spirit of a man will sustain him in sickness, but who can bear a broken spirit? The heart of the prudent acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. Verse 16, a man's heart, pardon me, a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and examines him. Casting lots causes contentions to cease and keeps the mighty apart. A brother offended is harder to win than a strong city and contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. From the produce of his lips he shall be filled. 
Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. He who finds a wife finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man uses entreaties, but the rich answers roughly. Verse 24 and last. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, and there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And now, the Old Testament reading from the book of Jeremiah, beginning at chapter 3. And it reads, They say if a man divorces his wife and she goes from him and becomes another man's, may he return to her again? Would not that land be greatly polluted? But you have played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return to me, says the Lord. Lift up your eyes to the desolate heights and see, where have you, where have you not lain with men? But the road you have sat, by the road you have sat for them, like an Arabian in the wilderness. And you have polluted the land with your harlotries and your wickedness. Therefore the showers have been withheld, and there has been no latter rain. You have had a harlot's forehead. You refuse to be ashamed. Will you not from this time cry to me? My father, you are the guide of my youth. Will he remain angry forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, you have, bro you have spoken and done evil things <clears throat> as you were able. Verse 6, The Lord said also to me in the day of Josiah the king, Have you seen what backsliding Israel has done? She has gone up on every high mountain and under every green tree, and there played the harlot. And I, after she had done all these things, and I said, after she had done all these things, return to me. But she did not return, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. Then I saw that for all the causes for which backsliding Israel had committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a certificate of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah did not fear, but went and played the harlot also. So it came to pass, through her casual harlotry, that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and trees. And yet for all this her treacherous sister Judah has not returned to me with her whole heart, but in pretense, says the Lord. Verse 11. Then the Lord said to me, Backsliding Israel has shown herself more righteous than treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, backsliding Israel, says the Lord. I will not cause my anger to fall on you, for I am merciful, says the Lord. I will not remain angry forever. Verse 13. Only acknowledge your inequity, that you have transgressed against the Lord your God, and have scattered your charms to alien deities under every green tree. And you have not obeyed my voice, says the Lord. Return, O backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married to you. I will take you one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you shepherds according to my heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Then it shall come to pass, when you are multiplied and increase in the land in those days, says the Lord, that they will say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord. It shall not come to mind, nor shall they remember it, nor shall they visit it, nor shall it be made any more. Verse 17, At that time Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and it and all the nation shall be gathered to it, to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem. No more shall they follow the dictates of their evil hearts, in those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given as an inheritance to your fathers. Verse 19. But I said, How can I put you among the children and give you a pleasant land, a beautiful heritage of the host of nations? And I said, You shall call me my father. And shall not turn away from me. Verse 20. Surely as a wife treacherously departs from her husband, so have you dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, says the Lord. 
Verse 21. A voice was heard on the desolate heights, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel. For they have perverted their way, they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return you backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Indeed, we do come to you, for you are the Lord our God. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. For shame has devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We lie down in our shame, and our reproach covers us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, we and our fathers, from our youth even to this day and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Chapter 4 If you return, O Israel, says the Lord, return to me, and if you will put away your ab abominations out of my sight, then you shall not be moved, and you shall swear the Lord lives in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. The nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him they shall glory. Verse 3, For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and do not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your hearts, you men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Leash my fury come forth like fire, and burn so that no one can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. Verse 5, Declare it in Judah, and proclaim it in Jerusalem, and say, Blow the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves. And let us go into the fortified cities. Set up the standard toward Zion. Take refuge, do not delay. For I will bring disaster from the north and great destruction. Verse 7. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of nations is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make your land desolate. Your cities will be laid waste without inhabitant. For this, clothe yourself with sackcloth, lament and wail. For the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned back from us. Verse 9, And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princes, the priest, shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wonder. Verse 10, Then I said, Ah, oh, Lord God, surely you have greatly deceived this people and Jerusalem, saying, You shall have peace, whereas the sword reaches to the heart. At that time it will be said to this people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of the desolate heights blows in the wilderness <clears throat> toward the daughter of my people, not to fan or to cleanse. A wind too strong for these will come for me. Now I will also speak judgment against them. Verse 13, Behold, <clears throat> he shall come up like clouds and his chariots like a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe to us, for we are plundered. O Jerusalem, wash your heart from wickedness, that you may be saved. How long shall you evil, your evil thoughts lodge within you? For a voice declares from Dan and proclaims affliction from Mount Ephraim. Make mention to the nations you, yes, proclaim against Jerusalem, that watchers come from a far country and raise their voice against the city, cities of Judah. Verse 17, like keepers of a field, they are against her all around. Because she has been rebellious against me, says the Lord, your ways and your doings have procured these things for you. This is your wickedness because it is bitter, because it reaches to your heart. Verse 19, O my soul, my soul, I pained, I am pained in my very heart. My heart makes a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because you have heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is plundered. Suddenly my tents are plundered, and my curtains in a moment. How long will I see the standard and hear the trump sound of the trumpet? Verse 22. For my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are silly children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. 
I beheld the earth, and indeed it was without form and void, and the heavens, they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and indeed they trembled, and all the hills moved back and forth. Verse 25, I beheld, and indeed there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens had fled. I beheld, and indeed the fruitful land was a wilderness, and all its cities were broken down. At the presence of the Lord, by his fierce anger. Verse 27, For thus says the Lord, The whole land shall be desolate, yet I will not make a full end. For this, shall the, for this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black. Because I have spoken, I have purposed, and will not relent, nor will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee from the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go into thickets and climb up on the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man shall dwell in it. And when you are plundered, what will you do? Though you clothe yourself with crimson, Though you adorn yourself with ornaments of gold, though you enlarge your eyes with paint, in vain you will make yourself fair. Your lovers will despise you. They will seek your life. Verse 31 and last. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in labor, the anguish as of her who brings forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion bewailing herself. She spreads her hands saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is weary because of murderers and the word is already blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray in jesus name that it has profited us that we may hear and even take note in jesus name of the current goings on in the world around us in the name of Jesus Christ. The New Testament reading from the book of Colossians, beginning at chapter 2. And it reads, For I want you to know what a great conflict I have for you and those in Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love and attaining to all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now this I say, lest anyone should deceive you with persuasive words. For though I am absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit rejoicing to see your good order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Verse 7, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Beware, lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And you are complete in him, who is the head of all principality and power. Verse 11. In him you were also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Buried with him in baptism, in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Verse 14. Having wiped out the handwriting of the instruments that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Verse 15, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. So let no one judge you in food or in drink, or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbath, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. Let no one cheat you of your reward, taking delight in false humility and worship of angels, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up 
by his fleshly mind, and not holding fast to the head, from whom all the body, nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments, grows with the increase that is from God. Therefore, if you died with Christ from the basic principles of the world, why, as though living in the world, do you subject yourself to regulations? Do not touch, do not taste, do not handle. Verse 22, which all concern things which perish with the using, according to the commandments and doctrines of men. These things indeed have an appearance of wisdom in self-imposed religion, false humility, and neglect of the body, but are of no value against the indulgence of the flesh. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that as you have heard, you have also been blessed. And then according to Romans 10, 17, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I pray that the Lord will open your understanding and reveal this word to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name.